All right, 357 Magnum versus 9mm in short barrels. And what we have today is the Winchester Silver Tip. In a previous test, I tested this particular 357 Magnum out of a 4 inch barrel. And we did not get particularly good performance. It was a little bit low end of a round. But typically when I, that happens, I kind of look to, to test it in a short barrel because I think, you know, typically our rounds that don't perform necessarily that great in a four inch barrel, oftentimes we become a great snub nose round because of the reduced recoil. And with the nine millimeter, um, I'm using the 115 grain, by the way, this 357 is a 145 grain. With nine millimeter silver trip, they actually have two different loads of it one of 115 grain the other one is a 147 grain and someone might say well it's more fair to use the 147 grain versus the 145 grain however the 147 grain i've tested in the past it didn't perform particularly well and it is a reduced power load the way most 147 grains are so this is actually rated at 50 foot pounds more energy um I believe it's 383 foot pounds is our rated energy as where 333 was our rated energy with the 147 grain and this particular round here um, our rated velocity here with the 357 magnum it'll say right here on the box uh, muzzle 1290 five yards 1275 and with the four inch barrel i was only getting like barely over 1200 um, in our four inch barrel so that was a very reduced powered load with our nine millimeter here what we have is we're rated at 1225 feet per second out the muzzle or 383 foot pounds five yards 1210 and i believe that's out of four inch barrels uh, but i'm not 100 percent sure so we're going to go through the chronograph anyway we're going to verify these numbers and see you know how close we get to rate of velocity anyways and today what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do our jaw block um you know i'm not going to do a juggernaut box today because i don't think we're going to necessarily gain a whole lot of information with these low end rounds through the juggernaut so I'm just going to do our 10% equivalent clear ballistics. Uh, you know, it's equivalent to 10% uh, FBI protocol. And one thing I was going to mention here is I always like to show this. This is the G2C, you know, this pistol right here with our average 9mm round. This is the 605 with our average uh, 357 Magnum round. And we look at the, the travel from the bullet nose to the muzzle. It's darn near identical even though it's a 3.2 inch barrel, this is a two, two inch barrel. And we're also gonna shoot from 25 yards to see what kind of accuracy we get with these rounds. So let's get started with this test. All right, we're about five yards from the target, four yards from the chronograph. First up is the nine millimeter. It's rated at 1225 feet per second. Let's see how close we can get to 1225 feet per second out of this 3.2 inch barrel. No read. 1159, 11.61, 11.56, 11.75, 1200. So that's about right of what you would expect out of a little bit shorter barrel than typical. Let's see how that 357 Magnum compares. 357 Magnum rated at 1290 feet per second. We know we're not going to get anywhere near that because with the four inch barrel, we were barely over 1200 feet per second. But my hope is we'll have a little bit reduced recoil and still perform well. And that might make a pretty good snub load. So let's see what we get for velocity and accuracy with the 357 Mag 145 grain silver tip. 1035. Wow. There was a lot of back blast out of that. No read. No read. There's something weird going on here with this round. Blasting back into my thumb. That is really interesting. We'll go single action. 1134, 1116, and I'm not going to do any more. There's something really weird about this round. It has more recoil than typical, 
and our velocity is pretty good our power is pretty good but for some reason even holding like this there was a ton of stuff you can there's kind of you can almost see there's little holes um of back blast stuff coming out of that round off the forcing cone embedding in my thumb that is weird i felt some hit my face too that is weird um let's hit our gel block and see how these two compare to each other all right let's hit our gel block we have four layers of denim on the front of here and we'll see how the nine millimeter does All right, as we can see here, we have a weird little twist pattern here. I don't know exactly why that is, uh, but what we have here for penetration, it looks like either our damage or a little bit of uh, shrapnel here. We're at about 12 and a quarter. So our main body of our bullet is at 12 inches even. So just barely, just barely um, what our, our FEI minimum would be. For penetration interesting let's try the 357 mag see how that compares to this all right 357 mag into the gel block we'll see what this does yeah that's still doing that you know there's something weird about that round if I squeeze, you can see blood coming out. That is weird. All right, so what we got here with the 357 mag, we can see right here our damage path. It's about 14 and three quarters that it went to, but it, it sucked back, and our leading edge here is at about 13 and a quarter. So a little bit better performance, I suppose, on this gel block. But uh, as far as, you know, the recoil and that back blast of that stuff that is just really weird so let's shoot from 25 yards and just see how these two compare to each other for accuracy downrange all right i'm doing the 357 magnum first just to get this over with and as you can tell i'm not going to take this round seriously uh, just because of what it's doing so you know it's developing a flinch for me so i'll see what i can do anyway single action All right, I gotta go turn that plate. All right, I'll keep going with this. Our accuracy is not too bad, even with me flinching significantly. Let's see how the nine millimeter compares. All right, nine millimeter. Let's see what I can do with this. Interesting. I aimed right on that every time and then I aimed pretty much at the top of the plate or an inch over and I finally made a hit on it. So our point of aim and impact is definitely significantly off with this round. Um, I'm going to say, judging from what I'm seeing here, both of these rounds are kind of falling short for what I would consider a good round. Our nine millimeter, um, I believe this is the same round that the FBI, you know, the FBI 1986 Miami Dade shootout where, you know, a silver tip failed to penetrate far enough. This might be the round. I'm not sure if it's the 147 or a different grain or if it's the 115, but I think it's the 115. And we can see here, we're just falling a little bit short for penetration. Um, with the 357 Magnum, it did fine in the gel block. However, you know, debris coming back and embedding in my thumb, massive amount of recoil. I would say overall, that's not very ideal either. So I'm personally going to say I think there's a lot better rounds out there, which is sad because Winchester does make some decent rounds like the Ranger and the PDX-1, but the Silver Tip, it's just like they not sure what they're doing. So that's what you get today. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.